Hello everyone, and welcome back after the, the, the crashing. The, the, the crash that, that happened that makes me want to cut my life into pieces. States a little coop, a little coop. Yeah, have I, am I even just. I'm not even just going against these people anymore. Great. Super glad. Well, this coop's going to take a while, so we're going to do. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Well, that means we have to go back through the entire army over here and return every single one of the expeditionary forces I took at the start. Nice. I'm so glad. What time is it? It's already 9.32. Damn, dude. Surprisingly, this series has lasted way longer than I expected it to. But, that's cool, you know? So many marines, man. I think we're almost done. Yes, sir. Perfect. Now go back to your mother. And I'm not talking Mother Russia. Oh, shit. This is a problem. Oops. <laughs> Well, yeah, you guys are going to have to go down there and help finish that off, I guess. Because we still got a ways to go. Okay. Hey, we're winning. Nice. Time. Let's try and finish this up over here. Okay, somebody is finishing that off. Um, are we staging the coop yet? The coop. The, the coop. Uh, yeah, coop, coop, same thing, right? We're gonna run out of. Well, it's whatever. September 3rd. 1930. I, I kind of doubt it. If you say so, game. Little coop, little coop. Yeah, we're going to need to expand <laughs> this. Also, am I currently building fortifications against... Okay, I am. Cool. You're joking me. It's almost already done? You're not serious, right? Like, there's no way. I'm so confused. Wow. Okay. That went a lot faster than I thought it did. Okay. The more you know, I guess. Just bide our time. Okay. Back to the US. Still says September 3rd. I, I think it's going to take a little bit longer than that. I kind of hope it does. Oh. Luckily, the US is not in the Entente. But what's going to happen is the Civil War is going to happen, and we're going to need to put troops over here. Hopefully, they don't die before then. Um, yeah. 
as long as the game doesn't freaking crash on me again, my goal is to have a communist world rev, uh, you know, the world rev what am I even trying to say? I don't I don't even know. Just I want to make the world communist, okay? That's 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 about it. Okay. And this time, if we could actually make the Soviets capitulate, I would very much appreciate it. Holy shit, there's 50. What the hell? Cut them off at the lakes. Yavo. Ninety. Damn, that's a lot. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we really need that many to go all the way out here anyway, so... I guess it ain't a bad idea. No thank you, Germany. Yeah, how many troops do you have? Because you should have quite a bit. Yeah, 165, nice. You got 56, you didn't really gain many more after the fact, but whatever. <laughs> when your puppet has more divisions than you do. Oops. Hey, we cut off their whole army. <laughs> Good for us. Yeah, 70 divisions. Good lord. Oh, and my house is going to fall over. BRB. Not actually, but... You never know. Cool. Well, the AI is useful. Grand Yugoslavia. Yeah, you can be communist all you want, Mongolia. I don't care. Do you, dude? Do you? Hey, yeah, soon when? I hope you like a Mao Zedong. Cause Mao's gonna give you a Zedong. Ha! Oh, good one. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Yeah, that was pretty funny. Uh, hmm. this. Well, actually, you know what? That's, that's quite a bit better. <laughs> Fucking Mongolians. Stupid Mongolians. Goddamn Mongolians. <laughs> Sorry. Can't help it. Hmm. Cool, cool. Yeah, you got you got some stuff to repair. It looks like uh, here. I'm not sure what the trenches do, to be honest, but you know, God, France has a lot of troops. Noise. Yeah, United States, how's that, uh... Yeah, lack of political power, indeed. Come on! Yavol! Yeah, <coughs> oh, excuse me! That is the key. Three victory points is all we need. Come on. 
Yes. Victory is mine, comrade. Hell yeah, dude. Satellite Tanatuva. Okay, well, we definitely deserve the oil field, so that's that's a thing that's happening. Stalingrad. <clears throat> That's a pretty good looking border. Okay, the Belgrade effect, duck comedy. All right, well, holy sh! <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my lord! They're almost all veterans. That's awesome, actually. Yeah, well. Honestly, I think I can just stick to my side. It looks like the Germans have their side completely covered. Uh, I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready. Alright, I'm going to pause the construction engineering. Oh no, pause it. There we go. So, uh, when's this going to be uh, finished, you know? Okay, well, it's going to be a while anyway. Okay, what do you think the odds are of us pushing into France, in Belgique, un libero? Yeah, France has uh, France has quite a bit of troops here. So do we, though. So do we. Lest we forget that we too do have a lot of troops. Vichy France. But those are pretty good borders. There's really no reason for them, but. You know, there's not a lot of reason for a lot of these borders, so psh, don't talk about it. Italian People's Republic, Socialist Republic, Soviet Union. No, Soviet Russia. Okay, cool. And it's not the Soviet Union, it's Soviet Russia. I, th I believe that makes a difference. What, what, like, what are you guys researching right now? Nothing? Can't you guys, like... Do this or something? Or other? Or not? Or just chill? I don't know. The guy. Highly sassy. Oh, not highly sassy. Oh, okay.
Hmm. Bucharest, Bu Budapest, Setinje. What? <laughs> okay. Well, also, how much manpower do we get? Gain almost 5k per month. That's, that's pretty chill, I guess. Yes, a February revolution. No. It's going to be a little bit. Anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that. And we will be back when the revolution is upon the United States. 